No, there are no plans to introduce the motor remapping in the INAV, just like it's running in the Metaflight. That means that there is a table of the resources you can use, assign uh, things to do something else. For example, if you take the output S1, you can assign the servo, and uh, if you take the output S2, assign the, I don't know, motor. And if you take completely different output, then you can turn this thing into the soft serial easily. Why? Uh, there are actually two reasons that this is not planned and I don't think that it will be executed in the near future. The reason number one is that this is the incredible amount of work, incredible amount of testing, of fixing bugs, finding hardware and so on and so on and so on. And right now the INAF project has absolutely no resources to do it because we are just a loose band of developers that like to do something uh, because they just feel a need to add something to the software they are using. Uh, nobody pays us to do so. And uh, if I have the option, dig myself for like few months only adding to motor remap or do something interesting and fun and add a new cool feature experimental, for example, then I will choose the second part. The second reason is that the motor remap, uh, just like Betaflight offers, is not enough for INAV because it's missing one very important aspect of it and this is the aspect of solving the potential conflicts. INAF uses servos and INAF uses motors if you and outputs are driven by the timers and this is more or less the static definition of which output is connected to which timer. Yes, there is some room to play, but not as much as people believe. And uh, if, for example, you just assign S1 as motor and the S2 as the servo, and they are both driven by the same timer, one of those two will just not work. In the worst case scenario, the servo will catch fire because the output signal will have, let's say, too high of the frequency, and this will just not work. And Betaflight is not solving the conflict problem and it's not solving the servo mapping and motor mapping problem at all. This is why something more advanced would have to be developed. And like I mentioned before, we just currently have no resources. Nobody is really feeling up to the task. And please do remember that this is just our free time when we are doing something that we like to do. The reality.